We got Whitney in studio, uh, Farmer's Market tonight. Uh, before we get to that, what did you bring us here? What is this? I made you, so we have Mama's Preserves in the Farmer's Market section. They make a bunch of different jams. Okay. One of their top sellers is their frog jam. It is fig, raspberry, orange, ginger, F-R-O-G. Oh, yeah. Inside a- Sign me up for all that. <laughs> the recipe was a Pop-Tart of sorts, but this I'm going with scone because- the dough was very like melty and whatever, and it's not beautiful, but it is tasty, or at least I think so. You know, so the wait. ginger thing is weird for me because, like, if you have ginger dressing on a salad, yeah. it's really good. Yeah. But if you eat the ginger when you get sushi, not so much. You know what but I'm talking about? Ginger, sure. Like gi- straight ginger. If you well, have ginger ale, it's the best. Well, ginger ale's very good. Soda. But you know what I mean? The the <laughs> ginger that comes in your sushi, it's yeah. very it's strong, burgers. and it's like, it, it's not no, good. It's not, yeah. It's this not, is good. It's not I very good. So, anyway. right. Yeah, well, you orange though. and ginger together well, are it? really good. Yeah, figs and raspberries together are really good. Now you're taking two forces. Oh, yep, wow. two forces that are just amazing. Mm-hmm. Since you're on a diet, I get the rest of this. Mm-hmm. Do you, mm-hmm. want, do you want me to save some for you? You took like a big bite. I hope I you have like something to wash meal. that thing down. Mm-hmm. Coffee, mm-hmm. great, perfect. Wow. Oh, it was a breakfast you, food. You, yeah, you made the crust homemade too. Huh? I did. It's almond flour. No wait, you made this? Yeah. This is like the greatest pop tart I've ever had in my life. Thanks. That's kind of what it's like, right? It's you... the recipe is a homemade pop tart. Wow, that is super good. And it's actually a gluten free recipe for anyone that's yeah. gluten intolerant. Frog jelly. Frog jelly. You can get it at Mama's Preserves. Their booth's kind of outside Doc Bernstein's in the farmers market. That is amazing. Thanks. I mean, like really good. Like, what yeah. kind of flour are you using? It's rice? almond flour. Oh. Arrowroot, which is like a starch, and then there's coconut sugar in it, two eggs, and a lot of butter. That's keto. Yeah. That's this. I, I've been trying to do this ketogenic diet, and you're just not supposed to eat a lot of. Uh, but you can sure. have almond flour. Pretty sure the jelly's not. Well, you know, there's no. not much there, and but, the, but it's all natural. But it's not heavy in like the sugar that you're like a lot of mark like grocery store. You didn't put any have. sugar in that, right? There's just coconut sugar. There's yeah. not like white sugar in it. That's very healthy. God, you're so slow. You're so <laughs> you're so whole foods slow. It's really good though. <laughs> I mean, it, it is it is very tasty. No, it's and really good. You wouldn't think for a second Thanks, guys. that you're like. Cut. Give me some more back no. because I it's on my diet. It's got almond flour. You in said it. you're on a diet. No, I'm just kidding. You so if it. you want the recipe, uh, we include them in our weekly newsletter. Goes out Wednesdays, so you've missed this week's, but you can Let's get it. Let's talk next about week. this newsletter sure. outside of the recipes of things that you make at yeah. home. What else can we find in this newsletter? Uh, Downtown Brown has a little welcome speech in the beginning that kind of like tells you what he'll be doing at the market, uh, gives you the entertainment lineup, does profiles on any new vendors we have. Yeah. Uh, it's a specific to just Farmer's Market, and it kind of gives you the tools you need to know what's going on. Yeah, that's pretty good because you yeah. know he's got those big fingers. I've I know, seen him. Pretty talented, right? Yeah, that he can actually type on keys. Uh, he tells us what to type. Oh, he dictates it to somebody. Yeah, dictation we, is very important. Yeah, he yeah. walks around with one of those electric recorders and <laughs> sure. he just talks. Yeah, <laughs> but he doesn't say much. No. How does he tell you sign language? Um. Yeah. Well, we have this like telecommunication thing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. We know what's up. Has there ever been? <laughs> In the history, I don't know if you know oh, that. No. I, I mean, you might not know this. Okay, I'll try. A day where it's been deemed too hot for downtown Brown to go out because the conditions were just too... Yeah, there has. There has. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brown has to stay safe. So, so if it is too hot, Brown does crush not Crush the James. Why is he a bear? I don't know. You need to find this I out. I know. I've tried to find out. I mean, because I, okay. bears are indigenous to the area. The, the, only, thing I can, the only thing I can think of is... Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> um, do you remember the DJ Julie Brown? Mm-hmm. And there's like downtown Julie Brown. Yes. Like I feel like maybe he was like Los Osos. You know, it's got the bears and then maybe someone... Just and he's brown. And, yeah. He's brown. And like... I downtown Brown. It rhymes. Gosh, I don't know. I mean, you grew up here. And I don't you know. should know. I know. Is his full name Downtown Brown, yeah. or is he his name Brown, and we just call him Downtown Brown? Uh, his name's Brown, and we call him Downtown Brown. Okay, this is these are things. I mean, I like need to know. Brown Bear. Yeah, that's his last name is Bear. Sure, Brown Bear. I declare it. Has Downtown <laughs> Brown ever sustained an injury from a child? Oh, that uh, has to be a yes. Only emotional. Oh. When they don't want to hug him, not oh. a not a no physical injury. I don't think he's ever been like injured, like someone kicking him or because older boys yeah. can 
They're actually, you know what? Be a bit unruly. Totally. But you know what's interesting is they respect, like, they may, like, kind of go, like, hey, and get kind of crazy, but they still, there's somewhere inside them, I've watched it happen, Mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, are they going to do something? But they actually respect him, and they just want to take a selfie with him. So... It it is Downtown Brown ever entered into any other city mascot competitions? Like, I am Downtown Brown from San Luis Obispo, and I'm taking on Wanda the Fish from Santa Barbara. (laughs) I don't know. Uh, no, is there such a thing? I, I don't know. Who's in... called Wanda. Brown yeah. throws out the first pitch at one of the Blues baseball games. I'd like to see that. I think it's on June 30th this year. Yeah. So if you're going to a Blues baseball game on June 30th, you'll see Brown throw in the baseball. <laughs> How yeah. Does he get it to home plate? I don't know. I didn't go last year. I wonder if he'll do it better than 50 Cent. Oh, I would hope so. Wow. Anyone Downtown can Brown. Do that All right. Better. If you want to find out more about Downtown Brown, you got to read his blog. Yeah. In our newsletter. Or her. Or visit. We don't know. Technically, it's it. Uh, read its blog. Uh, go to oh, uh, downtownslow.com. It's any bathroom. That, that's, yeah. yes. that's nice. Subscribe to the newsletter, and you'll find out more about what's going on. What are we expecting tonight? So much. I was actually just watching The Wedding Singer, which made me think of Billy Idol. Isn't he? He's in that. I'm sure he is. Yeah. yeah. Is he in The Wedding 80. Singer? Isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he comes he... on the plane. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I When you said Wedding Singer, <laughs> I don't know crashers. why my mind... No, it went to Planner. Oh, not with, J-Lo. With J-Lo but and Matthew nice, McConaughey. That's where your head's at. <laughs> that's so weird that my head went there because I don't think I've seen that complete no. movie. But I've seen, Adam Wedding, Sandler. I've seen Wedding Singer at least a dozen times yes. and Wedding Crashers a dozen times. Yes. But I, maybe it's because it's coming out of y- your mouth. I expected you to say Wedding Planner. Wow. And I see. Because I don't think went. I've seen in its entirety Wedding Planner. Have you, Jeremy? Uh, Wedding Planner, yeah, I've seen it a few times. My J-Lo? wife loves that movie. Oh, yeah, she's a big into yeah. r- romantic comedy. <laughs> Sorry, I digress, though. Okay. I always get those confused. One, she's a maid at a hotel. Oh, yeah. And then the other one, she's, I guess, a wedding planner. Yep. And uh, I don't know, all those are, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Which is the better of the three wedding movies? Okay, Ooh. everybody got to say it on, uh, on once. Wait. So, so we got Crashers, Singer, Planner. Okay, those are the three wedding movies. <sighs> or, uh, you know what? Let's layer it in it. Uh-oh. A fourth option, best friend, my best friends. Ooh. Okay. With uh, Julia Roberts? Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? Ready? Um, on on three, okay? So that means I'm not going to say three. Well, yeah, I'll say three, and then we have to say okay. it, okay? One, two, three. Crashers. Best friends. Whoa, we all picked a different one. You picked the Julia Roberts? Yeah, that's a great movie. Oh, it so is a great movie. Yeah, My Best Friend's Wedding is the best wedding movie. It's the best of them all. Wedding I, singer. I can all watch right, that. All right. I can watch what did that you say? time wedding and crashers. time again. It has a lot of like good one-liners yeah. that have like, carried through. I was going back and forth I don't know about that. the movie as a whole is like, the okay. best movie. So and Rachel rank, McAdams. It has Rachel yes, McAdams. Yes, rank it em, does. Rank them down. For and Isla Fisher, I will find you. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> so I say Crashers is number two, Singers three, Planners four. You okay. said Crashers was one. What's yeah. number two? Uh, my best friend's wedding. I would do two. Uh-huh. Singer three. And what was the fourth one? Uh, Whatever the planner. other one was. Planner. The yeah. one that got us on but this the discussion. But the soundtrack for Wedding Singer was was so good. It what really was, was. What was on? Oh yeah, that the soundtrack was awesome. It, it was, was awesome. All those 80s songs. And that so, guy was such a douchebag that was dating. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. It was. It was. It was. It was a Sandler movie. It was a, a <laughs> straight up Sandler movie. I mean, straight up. It was good. I mean, it was. It was good. What's I, the blonde's name that's I ranked in it? it Drew Barrymore. Three. Yeah, Barrymore. That was their first movie together. They've yeah. done so many together. And then they did Fifty First Dates, which I love. Yeah. Um, so oh, I'm a sucker. You said Singer was one. Which number two? It was Crashers. Then three is My Best Friends or Planner? Probably My Best Friends. Okay. Yeah. My Best Friends Weddings. I, I don't take Jane Lowe very serious as an actress. Yeah, that's the thing, <laughs> you know? How did we get on this again? I, I interjected because you talked about Billy Idol. And oh, I said, that's right. It reminded me of Wedding Singer, and here we are. <laughs> so tonight. <laughs> tonight. But wedding, if you're getting married this summer, the <laughs> Farmer's Market is a great place to get ideas for. Yeah. Has um, anybody ever table, asked to get married at the Farmer's dressing. Market? Probably. Yeah. I know a lot of people have had their first dates at Farmer's Market, which has led to weddings. Mm-hmm. It's a great first date. There's tons of stuff going on, and you don't have that awkward quietness because there's usually something happening, so you can people watch and just naturally have funny things happen. You could so dance. You can dance. Spontaneously to you any one of the music your options. your food. You don't have to, like, sacrifice yourself for a menu at a restaurant. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, you're like, <laughs> yeah, I love... Indian food. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot! They don't have what I want. Let's go somewhere else. Yeah. 
Yeah, I love that. I don't I, see cheeseburger anywhere on this menu. I mean, it's, <laughs> you know, being somebody who we have access to this every week, that's one of my favorite things to do is to go down there and that's where we have dinner. And, yeah. you know, I get a kebab from this place, I get mm-hmm. a slice of pizza court. from that place and some oysters. Yeah, no malls. We yeah. just have a weekly food court. I'm on the oyster case. They, I don't, they, it sounds like they might be returning soon. I'm not, I don't have confirmation yet. Though. What, what about Morro Bay Oyster Company? I'm surprised they're not in there. Uh-huh. They're such a big player in this area. I know. I mean, these guys are phenomenally successful, which is great. Uh, and so sometimes they just don't have enough product to represent themselves in the best way they oh, want you know to what, at a market. Though? Right now, I, I believe I read something in, in, the, like a in red the paper. Or something, yeah, right? yeah, it's a red tide is yeah. what they call it. And I don't know if it's the best time to start doing shellfish. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they probably want you to wait a couple days. So. Especially if after a couple yeah. days, I'll a couple weeks. I might wait. I might wait a while, like a year. I mean, I don't want to say anything. I I love Morro Bay Tide Oyster Company. Not and sound Crash like something I'm going to be so. I'm going to be rolling the dice with. You know, playing a little roulette. What about live music? What do we got tonight? So much. We have Unpaved Roads at Osos, the Crustacea Jazz Band in Morro, Fives the Crowd at Choro, Lord of the Cello at Broad, and Joseph and the Followers at Napomo. Very cool. And then, of course, all the great food. And mm-hmm. what is uh, what is in right now from the farmers? Well, the strawberries are, are looking super good. Artichokes, asparagus, um, Brussels sprouts. Gosh, what and, else? And bomb-ass frog jelly. <laughs> yes. I'm Top go, of the line frog jelly from Mama's Preserves. How, I mean, so it's preserves. It's, super good. Yeah. it's preserves, so it lasts forever. Well, right? they have preserves and they have jams. And Mother's Day is on Sunday, so if you want to like make her some breakfast, buy yep. some jam at the market tonight... Or okay. like take and it somebody to the makes wine this tasting. Jam. It's fr- it's it, fig and yeah, fig, raspberry, orange, ginger, and the mom and the son operate it. It's based out of Arroyo Grande. They have a it'll, it's usually the son and or the mom at the booth, uh, so you can talk to them. Uh, yeah, it's good. They have a apricot jalapeno. Oh so, no, we're talking. Yeah, that sounds, Jeez, really that sounds amazing. Right? With some cream cheese or something. It's legit. On yes, a bagel. exactly. Or toast, or English these guys might be the most Pumped. underrated jelly makers in all of America. It's phenomenal. That's why I brought it to you guys. Watch See? out, schmuckers! Are you really going to eat that whole <laughs> thing? On your a bunch ass. of schmucks. Are you, you eating both those scones? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all gonna right, do it slowly. Downtownslow.com <laughs> is the website. In Check it out. <laughs> Starts at six o'clock tonight. We'll catch you next week. Sounds good. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.